These cold fries are about to become golden brown and crispy. But it takes a lot of oil to make the perfect fry. Every day this chef goes through 20 liters of cooking fat in her kitchen. The restaurant has been giving the used fat to the local wastewater treatment facility since 2004. It's become a trend in this region of Austria. The service is great. It's picked up every week. You can depend on the company and you get money for it too. Simona Baumgartner gets five euros for every vat of fat she turns over. But what becomes of all that used cooking fat here in Tyrol? It's turned into energy. A truck picks up the oil from the restaurants and kitchens and brings it to a purification plant where it's processed. The containers are moved into a heated room to keep the oil from getting cold and solidifying. If it's heated to about 60 degrees Celsius, it stays fluid overnight. But before the fat can be used to generate energy, it has to be filtered. Earlier, the used cooking fat would be poured down drains and clog up the pipes. Now the plant processes 15 tons of it a day. And when it's peak ski season in Tyrol, that number grows. Once the vats are emptied, they're returned to the kitchens they came from. Emptying and processing that much cooking fat is no easy job, especially for those sensitive to odors. It took a while to get used to it, because the smell is sometimes really intense. But it's really all about growing accustomed to it. And these days, I no longer notice the smell. But my wife certainly does. <laughs> Engineer Christian Caligari came up with the idea to turn cooking fat into electricity. He wanted to tidy up the local wastewater plant's finances and help the environment at the same time. The engine turning the plant would normally take diesel, but it's fed with cooking fat now and it generates zero emissions. The engine cost half a million euros, but just two more years and the wastewater company will have recouped the investment. The engine is not specifically outfitted to run on cooking fat. The secret is that the fat is processed and it really does turn into fuel. So it works in the engine without any problems. The plant generates enough electricity to power 3,000 homes and, of course, the wastewater treatment facility itself. The biggest change at the wastewater treatment plant is that we produce our own energy now. We don't have power shortages anymore and we can run the entire facility with the biodiesel. Kalagari takes advantage of any opportunity to produce environmentally friendly energy. He even saves the waste that's left over from the water treatment. That sludge is dried out using the heat from the engine. It turns into valuable fuel for local building companies. The biggest advantage to drying out the leftover waste is that it shrinks. There's less of it. There's only a third of what's usually left over when you purify wastewater. And the end product has a very high heating value. So it's ideal for the cement industry. The people here in Tyrol have long since gotten used to the idea of collecting fat for energy. I use very little fat when I cook, and every month, roughly every four weeks, I take what's been used to the collection center. But today, Christina Bachmann has guests, and she's making a big dinner. There will be plenty of used cooking fat left over to power the town.